When you think of up-and-coming musicians and wannabe rock stars, American Idol or Nashville might come to mind. But you need not go further than Pittsfield, New Hampshire. Behind the doors of this windowless barn, you'll discover Bright Talent, a community of musicians recording in a state-of-the-art studio that offers a stark contrast to its quintessential New England setting. One, two. <laughs> You are looking at a place where dreams come true. Artists see their visions born. Rocking Horse Studio started as a dream for Brian Coombs, a rock star in his own right. In the 90s, Brian and his progressive rock band Tristan Park were signed to a British record label and went on tour. New Hampshire has never been known as a hotbed for original music. There was a period in the early 90s where a few, a few on the seacoast where a few bands got signed. Uh, but my band, for instance, we were fairly popular in southern New Hampshire, but we had to go all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to get a record deal and play for an appreciative audience. After the band went on hiatus, the idea for a studio built in a barn began to emerge. Brian and his wife Michelle bought this 250-year-old farmhouse in Pittsfield and went right to work. He sought out a well-known expert to design the studio, and for two years he and his partner Dave toiled. When we were building the place, we, we went per his records. You know, his, his plans were our Bible. Uh, every angle, every measure. And our tolerance were pretty tight. Every specification that he asked for, every surface that's supposed to be wood is wood and soft is soft. Um, and, then, and then after two and a half years of following this Bible, we, we thought, what if he's out of his mind? <laughs> At 50, Joe Mazzari isn't ready to quit living like a rock star. So today, a song he wrote some time ago is coming to life. My early rock music was uh, kind of the seamier side. Joe's resume includes opening up for Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols, hanging out with Johnny Thunder and the New York Dolls. Joe says Rocking Horse came at a good time. Rocking Horse has been a great surprise and a great bunch of musicians. On this day, Joe and his drummer Carl Howard are collaborating with some younger guys who've never heard his song before, but are bringing their creative energy and talent to the song in a wholehearted way that founders Dave and Brian say is the heart of this studio, a community of musicians. The two solo guys, Brooks and Will, on this tune, they they hadn't heard the song until this morning, right? So they're kind of going on gut instinct and their their musical knowledge and their ears to come up with parts. All right, so this is the take that we just did. If Will's happy with this performance, we can keep it as is, and if he's not, we could find the areas that uh, we might not like and we can do what we call a punching. Okay, so that, those are the drums, isolated, just the drum mics. Uh, you can hear a little bit of Brooks's guitar and a tiny bit of the organ bleeding into the drum mics, but that's, that's acceptable. This is, uh, again, this is the way they used to make records. Brooks Young is a name worth remembering. He's a 20-something with a plan to make it big. His band, the Brooks Young Band, opened for B.B. King last year, and he'll open for the legend again, as well as Blues Traveler this summer. He remembers his first blush with the big time. I opened up for him, I get off stage, and you know all of his guys are hanging around and they're patting me on the back. Wow, you have great chops for playing for someone your age. I love New Hampshire, I've lived here for a long time, but the only music scene in New Hampshire is happening right here you know, at Rock and Horse Studios. Brooks is headed to Nashville to meet with several record labels, but he's wary of selling out and says no matter how his career unfolds, Rocking Horse will always be close to his heart. 
And I'll always come back here, you know, even when I'm old and crusty and still recording those compilation discs with whoever the artist might be at that time. Um, they're just great people. They know what they're doing. Young Will Kindler has mad talent, according to these seasoned musicians. He's less concerned with success, but confesses to being awestruck the first time he came here to record. Suddenly to walk into it being 18 years old and not having done anything more than what I did in my basement, and all of a sudden we're doing this, and there's you know, all of this beautiful stuff around. On stand-up bass, Joey is co-founder Dave's nephew. Music runs in the family. His work is featured on dozens of recordings that have come out of this studio. He goes on tour with singer-songwriter Christian Cuff this month. I love recording artists too. I, I, I just wanna, I wanna be able to live at a place like this, you know, and, and, and set up camp. And uh, I, I, have, I have so many different dreams. But this day is about Joe's dream. His drummer, Carl Howard, is on acoustic for this session. He's also doing backup vocals for the song. Whatever it takes to make the piece perfect. He's in awe of the young talent he's working with here. It's great, you know, they're all great guys. And it's cool to see like the torch being passed. Mm. Yeah. We're still holding on to it a little bit though. We don't want to let go of it completely yet. I'm picking up speed like a black missile. Yeah, yeah. Dropping hot tears on the cold steel train. Did you have an idea on that? Yeah, well, the previous time I did, she, she lets off steam and doesn't come back. Yeah, I like that. When she's here, I don't feel quite so low. When she's gone, it ain't as bad as it seems. Call, Call me, me a heartbeat. The collaboration continues with backup singers, an ad hoc group of Brooks, Will, Brian's wife, Michelle, Joey, and Carl. The soundboard and computer are now center stage. Brian will layer the sounds and build Joe's song, but the philosophy here is to keep each piece as pure as possible. They'll come here and record and we, we have everything we need for them, which is, you know, I guess that is sort of remarkable in, in Pittsfield, New Hampshire, you know, that we that, have everything we need. And I think the town of Pittsfield is proud of us. Oh, I, I, I know they're proud of us. That's why we got the pizza delivered today. That's why we got the pizza delivered today. <laughs> because we're the rock stars of Pittsfield. To listen to the complete track of Joe Mazzari's Heartbeat, recorded at Rocking Horse Studio, go to WMUR.com slash chronicle and enjoy. <laughs>